Gabriel Vidales used to be a former member of Antifa, and he's the author of Behind the Black Mask. All right, G Gabriel, when you hear CNN downplay the violence, is that good for Antifa? Of course it's good for Antifa. You know, I can always count on CNN to act as a professional PR team to excuse Antifa violence. Because time and time again, they'll say, oh, Antifa is just an idea, it's just an ideology, it's not real. And then when they get caught and you see Antifa on the street, it wasn't that violent. Or sometimes they even say they're the good guys. But, and this guy, David Peisner, he's played a, a little clip about him talking about that there wasn't any violence except for from police. Well, they were tackling protesters. Okay, why were they tackling protesters? Was it probably because one of those same type of people shot at a police officer a few days ago? Or was it because that same police or the, those Antifa activists were the, uh, attacking police cruisers? They don't want to say it because they really don't want to fight Antifa. Because to fight Antifa would be to admit that they were lying for five, six years now when they first praised Antifa back in 2015 when President, uh, when candidate Trump first announced the office. Yeah, and the summer of love rolls around. They've been downplaying it for many, many years. When you were inside Antifa and you were a member, what was the end game for them? You know, the uh, the end game for Antifa can vary by collective by collective, but there is always this overarching, like, anti-fascism. But you have to ask yourself, what does anti-fascism mean? Well, when they define it, they don't mean Nazis, they don't mean KKK, they mean basically Western ideals as well as democracy itself. They don't like the Democratic Party, they don't like the Republican Party, they want to destroy America. I mean, just in 2020, uh, 2021, when President uh, Biden, right before he got inaugurated, Antifa was targeting Democratic office, campaign offices. They don't care, which is, this is the crazy thing about me, because you would think that CNN or other mainstream outlets would be united with all other Americans against Antifa, because Antifa is an anti-American movement. Yet, for some reason, they just want to excuse it, pretend it doesn't exist. But let me tell you, the longer we don't acknowledge the threat of Antifa, the longer it will, the more they will grow and the harder it will be to fight them. I think Antifa roughed up CNN's headquarters in Atlanta last year, and now CNN's saying, ah, don't worry about it. So why did you leave, or did you get kicked out? I mean, you look pretty normal. Was oh, no. it because you had a traditional hairstyle? <laughs> No, I mean, it, this is over 10 years ago. I mean, one of the reasons I started feeling ostracized by a lot of my friends at the time was because I had the audacity to go out and find ideas that were separate from my own. I remember reading about Milton Friedman and Thomas Sowell and not liking them at the time. But then I went back to my friends and I told them, hey, check out these ideas. Well, they just called me a capitalist pig. And it was a repeated cycle of any time I tried vent to venture out of like uh, this uh, sticker, sticker type ideology, all of a sudden they started kicking me out, pushing me out. So I just said, you know, I have enough. I want to go and explore and find more than this echo chamber that they created for themselves. All right, capitalist pig uh, is a compliment in my opinion, but glad you yeah. got out of there and I'm glad you're sharing your story. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.